Over 50 million people live with Alzheimer's disease worldwide, but not everyone is affected equally. We now know that there is considerable heterogeneity in how the disease affects people and that sex and gender are underappreciated contributors to this variability. The Women's Brain Project is a Swiss-based non-profit that has spearheaded global efforts to showcase how considering sex and gender can help provide better solutions for Alzheimer's disease. The study of sex differences is gaining momentum. Scientists have traditionally considered this topic in epidemiological terms, in other words, whether disease burden or risk differ between men and women. However, it is now clear that sex and gender are important variables that affect the course and treatment of brain diseases. Therefore, if we want to implement better solutions that eventually change medical practice, we must follow and implement this thinking at every stage of the R&D pathway. Applying our knowledge of sex and gender issues must start at the earliest stages of research. Laboratory work with cells and animal models should account for how sex-based mechanisms contribute to the complexity of Alzheimer's disease, as findings in one sex may not be applicable to both. Even sex-specific life changes such as menopause should be considered, since hormonal fluctuations can also influence risk and disease presentation in a sex-specific manner. Even though two-thirds of people affected by Alzheimer's disease worldwide are female, there is a startling underrepresentation of women in clinical trials. Attention to sex differences can be reinforced by the reporting of sex-stratified data and ensuring adequate sex representation to be able to investigate sex differences in the safety and efficacy of new treatments. In the era of precision medicine and personalised health, we cannot forget to account for the impact of sex and gender. Individual differences matter in the context of disease, and sex and gender considerations are a mandatory starting point to treat people living with Alzheimer's disease effectively and equally. If we are to deliver the promise of precision medicine in Alzheimer's disease, then the role of sex and gender can no longer be overlooked. We owe it to society to recognise the current research gaps and move past the one-size-fits-all approach. If we apply our knowledge about sex and gender in science and medicine, then we can better meet the needs of all people with Alzheimer's disease. Sex and gender differences are the gateway to precision medicine.